The satellites use microwave radio frequency signals to measure the distance between them. The measurement is accurate to about the thickness of a blood cell. It's incredibly accurate. Now, before I talked about their name, it's the mission of gravity recovery and climate experiment. The Earth's gravity will tug on each satellite at different times as they fly over mountains and seas. The accurate measurement and location that we have of the satellites allows the Earth's gravity to be measured and mapped. And knowing what causes the gravity to change slightly going around the Earth is used to understand how water is moving around the world, influencing the climate. Now we've just passed inside of T minus four minutes, the transporter erector Strongback is moving away from the Falcon 9. We're also finishing up loading liquid oxygen on the second and first stage. First stage should finish about three minutes, second stage shortly after that. Stage two TVC motion nominal just called out. That's the final check of the thrust vector control actuators that move the second stage engine in flight. As we get inside of 90 seconds, you may see a large white cloud come off of that transport erector. We're venting down gaseous oxygen from the plumbing that's in the erector, so that cloud, if we do see one, that's normal. Iridium and Grace satellites are ready to go. The teams are waiting for launch. The range is ready to support, and the weather is cooperated. As a reminder, we do have a backup launch window tomorrow if anyone calls hold. That'll be about five minutes earlier than today. But right now we've we'll just passed vacation. inside of T minus three minutes and counting everything looking good for the flight of Falcon 9. And stage one locks close up. Strombeck lower has closed up. Rock, RC, countdown one. Rock. Verify range is green and go for launch. Range is green. Stage two, locks will close up. Vehicle gas closeout started. Ground gas closeout started. AFTS is ready for launch. F9 is in startup. LD, go for launch. T minus 30. Flight tanks configured for flight. 15. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1.
Stage one props nominal. GC copies, we'll go. Seven seconds into flight. Falcon 9 performing nominally. We're currently throttling down the nine Merlin 1D engines on the first stage, preparing for the period of maximum dynamic pressure and going supersonic. Falcon 9 is supersonic. You heard the call out, Falcon 9 is supersonic. We're throttling the Merlin 1D engines back up as we pass through the period of maximum Vehicle dynamic pressure. Maximum dynamic pressure. A minute and a half into flight, trajectory looks good for Falcon 9. We're seeing the view from a ground camera and obviously we're having uh, trouble with the autofocus, but Falcon 9 continues to track downrange well. Power on the Merlin 1D engines looks good and avionics power looks good. MVAC engine chill has begun. The MVAC engine chill call out indicates that we have opened the pre-valve. We're beginning to chill in the upper stage engine in preparation for ignition. Now the sequence of events coming up. At T plus 245, we will have main engine cutoff. We'll shut down the nine Merlin engines. The first stage will then separate and we will light the second stage engine. So those activities coming up in just under 20 seconds from now. Throttling down the engines in preparation for Miko. Miko. Stage one AFTS. We've has had day. successful shutdown and separation. Second stage engine has lit. Major activity coming up in about 14 seconds is separation of the payload fairing. We have fairing separation confirmed. You can see three of the Iridium next satellites of the set of five. As I mentioned, the gray satellites mounted on top of that, but not visible from the camera. following a normal trajectory. Three and a half minutes into flight, we've heard the call out. The trajectory is nominal. The power on the upper stage engine is good. T plus four minutes since that great liftoff from Vandenberg, a view from the second stage aft facing camera, the California coastline, we're headed south towards Antarctica. Now as a reminder, the first stage is not going to be recovered, so there won't be any views from the drone ship downrange on this mission. We're five minutes into flight. Second stage engine power on the MVAC D engine continues to look good. We're running at over 200,000 pounds of thrust in the vacuum of space. Trajectory continues to look good. 
Power on the second stage from the batteries mounted on the avionics rack continue to perform well. All systems continue to look good on the Falcon 9 carrying five Iridium Next satellites and the two Grace follow-on satellites. T plus six minutes and four seconds into flight. Second stage of the Falcon 9 continues to perform nominally. All systems go on Falcon 9 carrying Iridium Next and Grace follow on. and your call outs from the propulsion team. Everything continues to look good for the upper stage engine. Now as a reminder, it's six minutes and 45 seconds into flight. This is the first burn. That'll put us into an initial orbit, following which we will deploy the GRACE satellites. We'll then have a second burn that moves us into final orbit for the deployment of the Iridium Next satellites. So stay with us after we get shut down of the engine. Seven minutes into flight. As I mentioned, we'll have two burns. In between will be a 42 minute coast phase between the end of burn one and the start of burn two. Coming up on eight minutes into flight since launch of Falcon 9 from Space Launch Complex 4 at Vandenberg Air Force Base. We're heading south over the Pacific Ocean, headed towards Antarctica on our first of two burns of the upper stage engine. Now in order to fly a efficient trajectory for both of the payloads, we're actually now running the second stage engine at lower power. That means the burn will be longer. For folks who are used to seeing us shut down the upper stage engine nine to nine and a half minutes into flight, today we'll actually be shutting down the engine just past T plus 10 minutes into flight. That's planned for today. The longer burn at lower power obviously takes more time, but gives us a more efficient trajectory. Stage two, AFTS has saved. We're just past nine minutes into flight. Everything continues to go well. As I said before, we're headed for Antarctica right now. We will have a coast phase once we get shut down. It'll cross over the southern polar regions and then en route east of Africa where we will relight the engine. You might have heard a call out behind me. I think some of the employees got a glimpse of one of the other cameras, uh, and uh, that's nominal on the second stage, so no need to worry about uh, the expressions that you might have heard in the background. Vehicles and terminal guidance. We're coming up less than 30 seconds to shut down of the second stage engine. LOS expected. T 
Eco. We've had shutdown of the second stage engine. We're going to wait for call out on the orbit. Nominal parking orbit insertion. And what we like to hear on the speakers in the background, nominal parking orbit insertion. The first burn of the second stage is complete, but stay with us because in less than a minute, we're going to be coming up on separation and deployment of the two GRACE follow-on satellites. While we can't see the satellites directly from the camera, we're hoping with the wider field of view of the camera that we might catch a glimpse of one or two of them passing through the field of view as they separate away from the dispenser mounted on top of the five Iridium Next satellites. Grace payload deploy confirmed. We have confirmation of deployment of the Grace follow-on satellites.